I mean, this is historic stuff. It is, and unfortunately, the opportunity for more rainfall to come in and kind of save the day isn't in the forecast until when does our rainy season begin? Normally late October into November. Let's take a look at some of the latest reservoir levels across the state, and you can see Lake Oroville at 25% of full, Folsom at 25%, and you can also see, again, 31% of full for Shasta. So we had a very dry water year. We were really dry for much of this year, very little snowpack. Take a look at how much rainfall we missed out on. This is departure from average, more than 11 inches of rainfall. Yeah, that's what we should have picked up in a normal year. So we are dry and now we pick up the heat and we add in the wind. And that's where the opportunity for fire danger is back in the forecast for the northern end of the valley. And that does include parts of Butte County where we do have the Dixie fire. So afternoon highs today was 99 at Sacramento Executive Airport. Average daytime high is 93. We had 100 degrees. That was at downtown Sacramento. 97 degrees coming in in Stockton. 102 in Marysville. 102 to in Oroville and even the foothills were pretty hot with 97 in Auburn, 98 in Jackson and 95 degrees coming in for Placerville. So for your weather headlines, the next couple of days not quite as hot and then critical fire weather comes in midday Wednesday well into Thursday night and the red flag warning is it for areas adjacent to the Dixie fire. We're going to take a closer look at that right now. So we have the Dixie fire and this is a look at the outline of it, the burn scar area. The Beckworth complex has wrapped up but we're also watching the Tamarack fire and that's why we have a fire weather watch. Things are really going to be changing. Low pressure system, high pressure system, they're going to be working in tandem to really kick up our winds. So the low pressure flow around that system, counterclockwise flow, is really where the southwest winds will come in. The low pressure system is so close to the high pressure system, we call it a tight pressure gradient. That's why the winds will be gusty. Gusty southwest winds are going to be coming into play. Here is again that Dixie fire just south of Lake Almanor. And again, that's going to be the concern. Southwest winds pushing a lot of that right up to the lake and also could be on the other side side of the lake and that's why again we do have those mandatory evacuations for Chester. So we got the red flag warning in effect beginning midday again tomorrow and then we have the fire weather watch. Just in case you're wondering what's the difference between the two. Red flag warning means you need an evacuation plan in place. That means those conditions are imminent. That's what we're expecting to happen and we feel very confident in that forecast. Low humidity, strong winds, dry fuels. We're talking about low humidity, 7 to 20 percent winds gusting up to 35 miles per hour. And for me, I looked at the duration of time that this event could happen. That is 19 hours. Now we look at the fire weather watch. Now this is more of a we could see the opportunity for those winds to develop. But again, it's still a fire risk, and that's why it's denoted here, and that's going to be for the South Lake Tahoe area as well as what we had the Tamarack fire. Now we get to our temperatures outside right now, 79 in Placerville, 10 degrees lower in Sacramento because we're closer to the Delta, a little bit more of a maritime influence. And here's a look at the end of July skies because, of course, we're now in August. If you have a nice photo of the weather in your area and you want to share it with us, please do so by uploading it to the ABC 10 app. So here's a look at the afternoon highs for the foothills, 93 in Twain Heart, 95 in Placerville, 97 in Auburn with a very mild morning in the 70s. Near 90 again for Tahoe for tomorrow, cooling off heading into the weekend. 63 for San Francisco, 67 in Oakland. We hit the valley floor with the upper 90s in Turlock, mid 90s in Manteca, and then here we go at 94 in Sacramento, 100 in Woodland, and close to 100 degrees in Calusa. Again, that red flag warning kicks in midday tomorrow through Thursday night.